the stars that make you feel like you got friends Stars will make you feel like you got friends I thought I knew it all I really thought I knew it all Who said Um, Bruce Irons, um, from Honolulu, Kauai. I'm just a, kind of a laid-back guy, just, you know, grew up on a little island, really into my family and my friends, you know, just like to hang out, surf, fish. What I, lo I love about home is just, you know, I come from a place that's, so it's just a little island, you know, low population, real laid-back. It's not a big, hyped-up, you know, say, a Oahu crowd. It's just real laid back, you, your friends, your family, you know everyone on the whole island. No one looks at you any different than, you know, who you are. You know, you're serving with the people you grew up your whole life. It's just no different. You know, everyone's the same. It's good. I got in it from my dad. I tried to get a servant when we like five or six. But me and my brother, like, you know, I mean, the surfboard is hard hit us around and we were, we were over it. So we just stuck with the boogie board, surfing the shore break, getting pounded, stand up boogie board, soft little board, so we weren't worried about it. But, you know, after a while we kind of got bored of that and then, you know, our cousins were surfing and stuff. So we're kind of, we, lo we looked up to our cousin Jason a lot and, you know, I mean, you know, you look up to your cousin, he is surfing. So we kind of wanted to do it, follow him. So we started getting into the board surfing like we're eight or nine. You know, my dad and my uncles, they're all, you know, they all surf ever since we were young. You know, my, you know, from what I hear from, uh, you know, a lot of people, my, my uncles are pretty good surfers on the North Shore. Just growing up in Hawaii, you know, you're, you know, you grew up surfing big waves all the time, getting pounded. I never really trained for that, you know, the hold down. I really don't train for the big waves. I more train for, like, say, little waves like Snapper or J-Bay. Just those long where you get the leg pumps. You know, I like to do a lot of cardio. What gets me really motivated, you know, when the waves are small and kind of crappy, I, I'm not that motivated at home, but, you know, when I know the waves are gonna be big and it's gonna be a nice, really big swell and solid, you know, I mean, I'll, I'll get up really early. You know, you're gonna get into some really good uh, adrenaline pumping waves. You know, that's what gets me going. When I know the waves are gonna be on, I'll get up super early, but if it's not, you know, if it's average, I'll just get up whenever, 8 or 9 o'clock, because I know I'm not going to miss out on nothing. Oh, definitely, I'll, I'll have to say my brother, just, you know, for, you know, him winning those world titles, and before that, he, you know, he's going through a kind of a heavy state stage in his life and to see him come back and dominate the you know the contest serving and just be real focused that was pretty it's pretty motivating thing for me to see you know friends and family Tiger Woods Tahiti is a really special place for me I've been going there for 10 years staying in Raymana and Manoa feels you know a little bit like home Ship Cern looks sick. I've never been there, but I want to go there. It looks definitely hell raising, and uh, you know, it looks like you know, it'll give you some good adrenaline rush. The first time I seen that one bottom turn of Mark Matthews, I just went, oh, that's that's got to be one of the biggest, craziest waves in the world. You know, him and Laurie Tower too. I love coming to the Gold Coast. You know, it's the first event of the year. You know, I, I love I like coming here really early. Just you know, I've been coming here for almost 10 years, since I was like 16. The people here are super cool. You know, you got a beautiful, you know, city right there on the ocean. Warm water, it's just, there's so much things to do, I love it. My favorite local surfer here, you know, you got definitely Mark Ocalupo, Ledge. He's just this powerhouse Ledge, you know what I mean? Just, he's a brick. And uh, he just lays down the biggest hacks there is. You know, you got the Hazas, Mick, Dean, and Joel. 
there's a whole group of kids that are growing up ripping and all the local boys, you know, they show us love when we come here and it's, you know, it's a, I love it. Eddie Aikau, by far, because, I don't know, I never, my wildest dreams would think of, as a kid, being in the Eddie Aikau, you know what I mean? So when I got invited, I was just blown away, but to win it is just, I still, it just feels like a, a dream come true. And I look at that trophy every day, I get chicken skin, and know that I, I have that, I have that in my trophy bin for the rest of my life. I like to be remembered as someone who liked to have a good time and just, you know, tried to go all out. Somewhere far, and will move like the stars that make you feel like you got friends. Stars will make you feel 